Hello, this is Anna Luisa Peters, and this is the Service Design Show. In this special episode of the Service Design Show, we're going to give you a sneak preview of what to expect at the upcoming Service Design Conference that is taking place on October 27th and 28th of 2016 in Amsterdam. My guest in this episode is Anna Luisa Peters. Anna Luisa is an in-house service designer at the Rabobank. She's half Dutch, half Brazilian, and we're also talking from Sao Paulo today. And she also told me she's crazy about cats. So let's jump right in and ask Anna to give us a preview of her upcoming talk. Welcome to the show, Anna. Thank you. Hey, Anna, uh, let's jump right in. And can you give me a 30 second pitch of your talk during the uh, conference? Of course. Um, well, I'm actually not going to be by myself. I'm coming with Paul Mutsars, my colleague. And we will discuss the seven key learnings that um, we've obtained over the past two and a half years um, when we implemented an in house service design team at the Rabobank. And this has been quite a challenging and fun process, but um, we know that many other large organizations are going through this as well. So we would like to share our experiences um, with the audience and um, to learn as much from each other as possible. And, uh, and can you give just a half, half a tip of the seven? Which one do you like the most? Yes, of course. Um, I think the most uh, surprising or interesting learning that um, we'll share with everyone is um, um, a certain partnership that we've started between a service designer and a customer journey manager is what we call it. And um, while the service designer is concerned about um, uh, the whole design uh, process, the customer journey manager uh, uh, knows a lot of stakeholders within the organization and does the stakeholder management part. Um, and this makes a very powerful couple that uh, we think other organizations could really also um, experiment with. So we're uh, making a, a team. Exactly, yes. <laughs> Partners in crime. Partners in crime, interesting. So uh, you, you already touched uh, a little bit upon it, but what do you hope people will learn and know after seeing your talk? Um, well, we especially hope that they will learn from our mistakes and our experiences and to be activated to improve their own um, in-house service design practice or even start it because um, maybe some people are considering it and um, uh, this will help them to commence uh, this change for them. Um, yes, I think I'll leave it at All that. Right, so, uh, uh uh, that people have a be little bit of a better insight into how to set up a, an internal service design department, right? Some, something exactly. like that. Yeah, maybe to feel better equipped right. Um, right. to do it. And I think, uh, I know for sure that a lot of companies are actually setting up service design departments, so this is really a, a hot topic. Yes, absolutely. So, um, a very topical topic, I'd like to call it. So. Mm -hmm. What is your personal motivation to talk about this topic? Um, well, we would actually like for the for this topic to be more out in the open because it can be very tempting as a designer within a large organization to um, to stay in this cocoon and to forget to connect with designers in other companies who are going through the exact same thing to share experiences with each other. So. Um, yeah, we'd like to talk about this so we can step out of this cocoon and um, share experiences. D did you experience the cocoon by yourself? Is this like is this something from your first hand experience? Uh, yes, absolutely. Me and the rest of our team, you know, we are so caught up in uh, everything that goes on within our own company that um, you really have to consciously uh, step out of it every now and then to be inspired and to get another perspective on your own practice and to improve it. It, it yeah. actually takes an effort to step out of your daily, daily business. Absolutely, mm. yes. Mm. You have to really consciously do that. Mm. And um, Anna, I'm really curious. You probably will give you, you'll give seven insights into this topic, but I'm also sure that 
you also have some big questions surrounding this. What, what is the most interesting one for you? Um, the most interesting question that uh, I'm walking around with now related to this topic is um, to find out what the difference is between implementing your own in-house service design team within the large organization and acquiring a fully mature design agency as a whole, um, like Capital One did with Adaptive Path a couple of years ago. So this is a very nice, um, um, different approach between setting up a service design team and I'd like to understand with the audience or with the people at the conference um, what the specific hurdles of each uh, strategy are and um, in which context which approach would suit best. So when, when do you build a service design department from the ground up and when do you acquire a whole team basically, right? Yes, yes. Mm. When, um, when is each of those approaches most suitable is actually my biggest question. Interesting. Yeah. So mm -hmm. uh, the, the conference is coming up really, uh, really soon. And um, wh what is the thing you're looking forward to the most? Well, it's actually quite simple um, with these conferences. Uh, every year I really look forward to it just um, to be inspired by uh, people like us that are doing the same thing but in completely different contexts and to be activated to improve my own practice um, accordingly. So, meeting everyone else. <laughs> meeting everyone else. Uh, I'm sure that, that will happen uh, for sure in Amsterdam. Anna, yes. this is all we had time for. I'm really curious to hearing your lessons and uh, meeting you at the conference. So again, thanks for your time. You're very welcome. See you in Amsterdam. See you. Thank you very much. Bye. Bye. If you enjoyed this episode with Anna and like to see more interviews, be sure to subscribe to the channel and check out some of the other episodes. If you want to learn more about the conference, check out www.service-design-conference.com. For now, thanks for watching and see you in Amsterdam.